Today we have a 2019 Ram 1500 Classic. We're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these PWAG all square snow tire chains with the cam tensioners. These chains are very heavy duty. It's going to do a great job of giving you traction if you're in any tight situations or any rough conditions outside. You can see the thick square links. They'll do a great job of giving you traction through any thick snow and ice or if you're off-roading in any deep conditions. You want to try to avoid using these on any light conditions where it might still make contact with the pavement or even dry pavement. You could risk damaging your chains or the pavement you're driving on. They also have a ladder pattern which is going to give you great traction for starts, accelerating, and stopping. The chains have a steel construction which is going to be very durable and last a long time even when you're frequently using them. The chains have three cam tighteners around it which is going to help take out the slack that could be left if our chain is a little bit too big for our tire. These chains come in a quantity of two with this nice canvas bag that's going to make for easy storage. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you how easy they are to install. It's a good idea to practice putting your chains on your tire before you're out in those conditions so you're not shocked at all. So whether you, there's no weather outside, you want to do it in your driveway or in your garage, that's fine too. But you want to lay them out flat first, spread them out, look for any damage to the links, look for any twists or tangles and make sure you get those out. To make sure you get your chains installed the right way, you want to make sure that your cam tensioners right here are on the outside facing away from your tire and that these hooks that are along the chain, that the hook parts are facing up away from the ground because when they're installed it's going to prevent those kind of pointed edges from digging into your tire. After you've done all your checks and they're ready to go, just grab your chains by the middle and the side closest to the tire and then we're going to drape them over the top and sides. and then just line them up under your tire so you can make your connections. Here at the back, we're gonna make our first connection. We have these five extra links and we're gonna hook one of them onto this hook right here. Now you want it to be just a bit snug. You wanna make it too loose. So we're gonna grab one of the middle links and hook it on. We might need to go a little bit tighter than that. So we'll go one more. Now you wanna keep track of how many links that you're going up on because you have to do the same for the front side. Now here on the front side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab the same number of links that we used on the back and then hook it on. If you feel like it's too loose, you can go one more up or if it's too tight, you can go one more down. As long as you're within one of what you did on the back side. And then from here, if this is how you like to put your chains on and you want it to fit like this every time, you can just cut the excess links off or you can just grab a zip tie and then zip tie the excess up there. Now with our included tool, we're gonna to tighten down all of our cam tensioners. I'm just gonna insert it and then turn it counterclockwise. We'll go on to the next one. There we go. And then down here. Now we already have all the cam tensioners tightened but you can see there's still some slack in our chain. It's not uh, too tight against our tire. So the manufacturer recommends picking up a set of rubber tensioners. You can find these here at hla.com. What these are gonna do is pull down on the chain to take out that slack, provide a nice snug fit. To install them, it's pretty easy. We're just gonna take one end and come up top, come from behind and hook it on. I'm gonna grab the one directly across and go straight down. We'll grab one that's diagonal, come up like so, grab the opposite, and go the opposite way, do the same thing with the other set. This is gonna ensure that they get as evenly spaced out as possible. Then once you have that, you can see it took out a lot of that slack. And now you're ready to go down the road with the snug fit on your chain. Once you've completed all of these steps, just repeat the process for the other side. If you have a four wheel drive Ram and you wanna have a set for the front tires, just use the same part number. And once you have all your chains installed, it's a good idea to drive forward and then stop and get out and make any adjustments if you need to. But that's gonna do it for our look at these PWAG all square snow tire chains with cam tensioners on our 2019 Ram 1500 Classic.